talking about the economy, the economics of the common good, it's not some sort of idealistic, we're not some sort of dissident, we are the, the practical ones. We are facing a system which is a really quite a mad aberration, not just wrong, but completely mad in, in much of its thinking, which basically has no future, and it has just lived at the expense of future generations and of the environment. But those externalities are now coming home to roost. Communism and capitalism, which both have failed, both did not bring along uh, the promises they made, and the economy for the common good is uh, a model that is going beyond these uh, experiences. It is a market economy, but a fully ethical market economy on the one hand, and a truly liberal market economy on the other hand. There is a narrative here about what we've lost and how we can build it back, and particularly about rehumanizing systems that have lost their soul. And if this is a methodology that helps us to do that, and particularly in commerce, um, that's extremely welcome. Yes, you can have money, but can you change money for everything? And can you change everything into uh, money? And I think what the common good, the economy for the common good does is it looks at the balance and it looks at some of those other questions. In a finite planet, you can't have uh, uh, growth going on forever of material. You can grow, grow money, because money you can, you can produce, but it's the material resources and even renewable resources like the climate. There's nothing more renewable than the climate, but we, have, uh, we are destroying even that. And uh, we are you know, polluting the, the environment, we are using up resources in such a way, which is globally completely unsustainable. I mean, there can be no human right to something which is not possible. And so we need to ask ourselves what's possible. It's the sovereign people who define which, uh, uh, what is the common good. And it's also the sovereign people who would then ask all companies to report on what they contribute to uh, just distribution, to humane working conditions, to uh, a good ecological uh, footprint, or to a the democratic structure. Just as it is with, with diversity and equal opportunities, actually you can measure some of these things, but it can become a box-ticking exercise. The more important thing is, do people talk about diversity? Do you have a culture where these things are, are valued and matter. So I think the, the common good balance sheet is, is excellent at giving prompts to be able to have some of those discussions internally. Charity, uh, volunteering, uh, campaigning, these are not changing uh, the system as they wish. So methodologies like yours um, are welcome, and I think particularly because they offer a means of um, bringing ethical considerations into business.